Hey guys, we're two ways home. Two ways. Oh, oh. Welcome to our songwriter series. We've decided to make a little video about our latest EP, Closest Stranger. So it's quite important for this EP for us to use our own musicians, the guys that play with us in the band. And we recorded at a great recording studio called Papom over in Bow, with Maxime producing and Nicholas as the sound engineer. And it was really great session. We recorded the whole thing in two to three weeks, kind of on and off. And then we sent it over to our friend Mark Lonsway in Nashville, who did an awesome job mixing it. Again, this was quite a, uh, a lengthy process of tweaking bits here and, you know, making guitars louder there. But it was great to have the UK and American feel uh, on the recording and producing side of it. And then we also got it mastered in Nashville with a great mastering engineer called John Mayfield over at Mayfield Master. It's so great to work with such a great producer, mixing engineer, sound engineer, the whole works, it's brilliant. Best Part of Me, which is the first track of our latest EP, Closest Stranger. So, how did we write it? Firstly, it was an evening writing session. We'd already been writing all morning with Logan Brill. We actually ended up writing one of the songs we'll talk about later. But I remember she dropped us off in a big truck and we didn't know where we were or who we were writing with. We met Adam, who was a super cool dude. And I think we wrote this song pretty quickly, like two hours or so, and then yeah. we wrote most of the song. The song's about kind of going through a relationship that has its ups and downs, but realizing that the other person's ultimately like, the best part of you, or the, a big part of who you are. Um, and the best part of the band. Yep, that's what we wrote it about. <laughs> sure. Okay, so this is the only song on the EP that we wrote, just the two of us. Um, yeah. Where did we write it? Where were we? We were in my old flat in Chiswick, I think. Okay, that sounds about right. And we were messing about with some open guitar tunings. I think I'd been in a uh, different tuning. The tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D, if you did want to uh, play along at home. Uh, but we were messing around with that. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, so we were kind of giving it a go yeah. and figured out that riff. Um, and I think you had recently bought a mandolin, so we were yeah. trying to find the right song that Izzy could play a mandolin with. So instrumentally, that's how we sort of got this song together. Just a lot of trial and error. And I think also after writing lots of sad songs for the EP before, we thought, well, we should really write a happy one. So yeah, that's kind of our happy song. It's about thinking that You've lost the power to love someone, I think. And then suddenly your heart like starts beating again because you've met someone who you really like. Third song on our EP is called Don't Give Up On Me Tonight, which is basically the kind of slow ballady one, I guess. And I can remember we had a lot of rights and we were on a trip to Nashville just to write with loads of different artists mm -hmm. and meet new people and we, I think we were pretty tired by the time we got into this right, it was first thing. Uh, a lot of our rights have been at people's houses or at people's studios, but this one was at Warner Chapel Publishing Headquarters in Nashville. That was cool. So that was really cool, and it was Logan Brill. <laughs> I think she came up with this really cool uh, lyrical idea, which was the first couple of lines of the song, and then we really took it somewhere and put a lot of harmonies to it in the session, and I think we came out of the session thinking that even if Logan wanted this song, we were definitely going to record it as well. Yeah. So I think um, this song kind of has the most clear message for me. Because it's quite, I don't know, it's quite heartfelt. It's basically about just being away from your family for ages, not being able to come home because you're on the road gigging. Um, Logan was basically on the road for ages she was telling us and she missed her family so that kind of tied into the song and it's just about telling someone you love that they should wait for you and you'll be back and it's hopefully not too late mm -hmm. yeah. 
the last track on the EP is also the title track, Closest Stranger. And we wrote this one with a fellow Brit um, back in my kind of home <laughs> hometown. Well, not hometown, but the closest town to where I grew up yeah. uh, in Stratford upon Avon with the lovely Demi Mariner. So for me, this song's about when you've been with somebody for a long time and you're really close with them, but then eventually you actually realise who they really are and you realise you don't know them as well as you thought, or maybe you don't really know them at all. Yeah, I think it's quite a nice reflection on our culture, because everyone's always on their phones and they're kind of close to each other, but not really. Yeah. And the connections between people are kind of fading because we're all so caught up on social media, so I think mm. it's just about love. It works. Mm. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha